Hi everyone, welcome back again. In this video, we will implement server load balancing on our FI Big IP load balance. So this is my FI Big IP load balance machine. This is my external side client machine and these are our three web server devices. Uh, these are uh, simply Windows 7 machines uh, and I already created one video how to set up, uh, how to host web server on your Windows 7 machine. Uh, you can see here, I have given only 512 MB of RAM to all these three server devices and only 1 GB of RAM to my external side uh, client machine, 2 GB of RAM to my big IP appliance. Okay, so my external side client machine's network adapter is connected to VMware's VMNet uh, second adapter and on my FI big IP network adapter 2 is connected to VMNet 2 adapter okay so the network adapter 2 this uh, interface of my FI big IP will be so my FI big IP is network adapter 3 is uh, internal side because uh, it's connected to VMNet 0 and my all server machines are connect also connected to VMNet 0 okay and my uh, and network adapter uh, 1 this network adapter I'm uh, using as a management interface for my FI Big IP load balancer. Okay, so let's power on all these machines. These are the steps to implement your server load balancing on FI load balancer. First step is uh, add nodes, server devices to your FI Big IP appliance. Second step is to create a new server pool with create a new server virtual server with a uh, with a server pool you created in step second. So you have to bind server pool uh, with a virtual server. Okay. And fourth step is uh, send connections to virtual server IP address and check this uh, check the results. That's it. Okay. I'm having uh, here Intel i7 processor with 7 generation 2.7 GHz to 2.90 GHz and it's with uh, and it has a uh, 16 GB of RAM Windows 10 is here I'm using uh, if uh, I'll recommend at least your laptop or best machine should have uh, 8 GB of RAM if you want to perform any load balancer if I have uh, labs or any uh, or any other firewall labs if you're having like a more than 8 GB RAM it will be great okay our machines are my server machines and client machine is up and running That's by the time I'll show you my IP scheme of uh, all the client machine and server machine Okay, so this is the uh, server one and its IP address is 10.1.1.10 and slash 24 and this is the default gateway 10.1.1.100 uh, uh, this is the IP address of my uh, internal uh, interface of FI big IP server 2 server 2 is having 10.1.1.15 slash 24 and default gateway is same for all the machines okay uh, 10.1.1.100 this is the external uh, in it has a uh, 10.1.1.20 slash 24 and default gateway is 10.1.1 100 my external side client machine is having ip config 172.16.1.15 slash 24 and default gateway this is the 
uh, external interface IP address of my FI big IP it's 172.16.1.100 okay let me check okay it's up and running let's uh, take the web GUI management IP address is 192.168.1.100 default username password is admin admin able to ping We have been logged in into FI Web GUI console. Okay, guys. Uh, as per our first step, we'll have to add in nodes that uh, physical server devices to our FI Big IP appliance. Okay, so to add in nodes, go to local traffic, then go to nodes, node list create a new node give a name web server 1 its IP address 10.1.1.10 click on finish create a second one web server 2 its IP address you can give here IP its IP address otherwise FKDN it's uh, it means uh, it's uh, fully qualified uh, domain name if your server is having uh, domain name okay so you can put that as well so your FI big IP will fetch its IP address from DNS server and it will add it to your appliance click on finish web server 3 its IP address 10.1.1.20 click on finish so three server devices we have added to our FI appliance let's go to pool as per the second step we will have to create a server pool with nodes you create you added in first step okay create a new server pool give a name web server pool description you can give anything as per your convenience uh, I'll add here HTTP health monitor uh, your FI big IP appliance uh, always monitor your HTTP services running on all these three server devices if uh, services are not running on your server devices HTTP service then it will not forward the traffic external side client traffic to that device okay and load balancing method we will select here by default it's round robin so you can, you can see here there are so many load balancing methods are here but in this uh, video we will see only round robin okay then again we will select a node list because we have already added node uh, to our fi appliance you can see all three nodes are reflecting here select first one its ports number add it select second one its port number add it select third one its port number add it click on finish so here we created web server pool as per this third step create a new virtual server with a server pool you created in step second to create a virtual server go to virtual server virtual server real list create on new give a name web server pool give a description if you want uh, here if you'll have to give a destination IP address that is 172.16.1.15 then its port IP 
so then service port and application then scroll down scroll down and here you can see default pool you will get your web server pool name here select that which we have created in second step okay then click on finish let's go to statistic local traffic go to pools and here you will see our web server pool and under the web and under the web server pool this all three server devices you can see web server pool is available and all the three nodes are also available so to check the first step is send a connection to virtual server IP address and check the result okay I'll access my virtual server IP address using uh, www.lab.com but if you see here I have not given any DNS server name then how can I access right I'll show you I have added uh, 172.16.1.15 this IP uh, I have mapped this IP to www.lab.com to add that mapping you have to go to C drive then windows then go to system system 32 then drivers then etc and this is the host file open it with notepad and see here I have mapped www.lab.com with 172.16.1.15 if you are not able to save this file you just click on notepad and open it with run as an administrator copy this all contain control A control C then copy this to your new notepad and save this file to this location windows system 32 drivers etc with name host let's open up web browser www.lab.com so here we are connected to server 1 let's go and check refresh one total one connection and it is forwarded to server 1 okay let's uh, generate some more connections if you can see it's server is changing server 1 server 2 server 3 okay let's go and check refresh you can see total 27 connections are here nine connections are distributed to each server device evenly equally divided into three server devices okay so in this video we saw round robin server load balancing method in next videos we will see another uh, server load balancing methods okay so if you are having any doubts please let me know in comment section uh, if you like this video please please give a thumbs up and share it with your other friends subscribe the channel to stay tuned have a good day bye bye I'll